What's better than a standing ovation? A standing wave. Let's look at the phase difference in standing waves. So remember, we were just learning about standing waves, how they go kind of like, for example, something like this right here actually technically goes like this right here. It sort of oscillates up and down. Remember, it's something that actually sort of moves. It changes all the time. But these points right here, the points that don't change, those are called nodes, right? So we call them N for node. All right, so let's look at what happens. And if you're undergoing uh, standing waves, for example, um, then all the points from one node to the next will be in phase. And what we say is the phase difference will be zero radians. Okay, so that's when we say things are in phase, it means that we say that they're, the phase difference is zero radians. So that means that all these points right here, so these ones right here from uh, A right here, maybe I'll even write it down, I'll say all the points in A are at zero radians phase difference. Okay, so that's really important to know. So this is the first piece, okay, this one right here. So this is when uh, things are in phase. Now what about things that are uh, out of phase? That's gonna be this one right here. So what do we mean by this one right here? We're gonna be talking about points like Points in A are in phase with each other, sure, and points in B are in phase with each other, but points in A are not in phase with the points in B. In fact, we say they are out of phase. Now we could state the phase difference, for example, so we could say they are, uh, well, to be out of phase means they're 180 degrees or pi radians out of phase. I think that's the key thing right here to say. Okay, so in the first one here, the phase difference was zero radians, whereas this one right here now, we can say it's actually pi radians. Now, why is it pi radians? Well, it helps to know that two pi, for example, is 360 degrees, and so that means that pi must be 180 degrees. But basically, we just say that these things are out of phase. That's the word that we're gonna be using is in phase, and we're gonna use this word right here, out of phase. So what we could state here, just like I did before, instead of saying points A, points in A are all in phase and points in B are all in phase, here I can say, hey, all the points in A are out of phase with the points in B. Or in other words, I could have said they are pi radians out of phase. Okay, so we have an example now where we're looking at a string that's closed at both ends and a standing wave oscillates at the second harmonic. Well, this is the second harmonic, this one right here that goes like this, right? So it's one that, you know, you can, you can draw your dotted line if you wanted to like this right here, but I don't really want to. We'll just imagine it's vibrating up and down here and this is going down and up, so to speak. So it's going like this. You know, if you look at my hands, it's going like that. Okay, so we've got our nodes right here. These are the places where it's not oscillating. And the question is, what is the phase difference between points P and point Q? You just had to know the definition. Remember the definition, that points within a node, so in other words, from this end to this end, any point from here to here will be in phase. Well, if all those points then between N and N here, if all the points between here and here are in phase, that must mean P and Q are also in phase. And if they're in phase, what does that mean? It means the phase difference is zero radians. Okay, so I just tried to make it as clear as I could. So P and Q are in phase. In other words, you know, the phase difference, you could say, is zero radians. Had they asked for like a point here and a point uh, over here, let's say, let's say this was a point and we we're looking between this point and this point, then we would say, ooh, they are out of phase. In other words, the phase difference is going to be pi radians. But in this case, since they're in the same nodal region right here, so between one node and the other node, then we say they're in phase, so the phase difference is zero.